Hey, praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, pastor David G. Grogan, Sr., Senior Pastor at Sojourner Life Ministries, and I am the voice of Phoenix's Javin. Look, I'm having, a, I'm having a great time today because, you know, it, it, um, it, this is a time when I was talking to the church on yesterday, and I, I, I preached a sermon, um, and I'm going to start my podcast back up because I had a podcast and I had my motorcycle accident. That's why my hands are covered. Um, almost, uh, almost died. Um, April 23rd of, of um, 2020 had a near fatal motorcycle accident. The Lord delivered me through it, and I'm thank God for that. But I had a podcast before that, and I'm gonna think about going ahead and starting my podcast up again. And just so some of the stuff that you can't get on YouTube, uh, as far as my audios, you'll be able to catch them on my podcast and the message that I preached on yesterday to the congregation. I believe that's gonna be the kickoff of my uh, podcast again. I can't tell you exactly when it's gonna come out. What I can do is tell you that if you are on Spotify, if you see, if you look for uh, uh, Phoenix's Javelin on Spotify, that's where you'll find my my podcast, Pastor David G. Grogan Sr. Um, you know, I'll be putting my audios back on there again. Uh, but like I said, I'm having a great time today because this is the day I've kind of proclaimed this Monday as being uh, a day for the kids. Um, I love the children. I, I have six grandkids, three boys, three girls. Uh, three kids. Uh, my my wife and my, myself have our our three kids. Um, two girls and one boy, and and uh, we uh, are, are. I enjoy the children. I enjoy the children so much. You know uh, that the fact that these babies they're so innocent, and we mold and shape them by the things that we that we by the things that we teach them. These children that are growing up uh, thinking that they're uh, girls and these children that are growing up thinking that, that the girls think that they're boys and boys think that they're girls, they're being taught that. They're not born like that. They don't even have that mindset. Do not, y'all, listen to me. Do not be ignorant of the devil's devices. He knows exactly what he's doing and he's going to use every means necessary to pervert what God has made holy. Everything that God has created was is perfect. It's perfect. The, what's messed it up now is the fall of humanity, sin, rebellion against God. And Satan got kicked out of heaven because of his rebellion against God. So now here we are, we are in 2021, and, and we are dealing with a, a, a society that hates God. Uh, um, it, and that's why the scripture talks about how hell enlarges itself daily because there's going to be more people go to hell than there are go to heaven because, you know, to get, get to heaven, you have to choose to serve God and the way that he says to serve him, not the way that you want to serve him. So now we have all these people, they're raising their children based on their own whims. And they're causing our young uh, kids, our boys and girls to grow up to be, and I'm, put it this, I'm not trying to be rude or crude, but they're growing up to be a bunch of freaks. You see them, I remember when goth was real big some years back when the people, kids were walking around with their hair hanging over their head. They had black fingernails on and, and they were quiet and they were, and they were subdued. And then now you have everybody, they're dying their hair all red. Kid, people, I remember when kids were allowing their boys to get their hair, you know, they, uh, they spiked. They, they no longer had a sense of, no longer had a sense of, of, of respect about the kids. And now we're raising up in a society where this is how our children are. They're sucking up everything that they're, that the liberal agenda and that the uh, uh, free uh, the free thinkers and the independent thinkers are telling them. They're sucking this stuff up, y'all, and they're getting into their spirit and they're living it and they're becoming the adults and they will be the adults um, in the next generation if Jesus Christ doesn't come back. You know, before that, that will take things even make things even worse. That's unless the church does what it's supposed to do. I want to say something. Uh, the church, we voted in an administration that hates our children. I didn't. You did. I voted for Donald Trump. But if you voted for the, if you voted for the administration that's in right, in right now, you voted for an administration that is pro LGBTQ plus. You voted in an administration that's pro abortion, big time. They want to use your tax dollars, my tax dollars, to pay for not just abortions in the United States, but they want to send those tax dollars across the country to pay for abortion, a uh, uh, country across the globe, to pay for abortions for people that are supposed to, that we're supposed to be in league with. So here we are, we are in a nation now where so much is going on and our poor children are subject to it. And we are not taking the responsibility for our children. What we are doing though, is we're trying to destroy all the good things that I was raised on things, toys, books. And, and you know, they didn't hurt me. They didn't make my mind uh, um, uh, 
untoward. If anything, they gave me, I got educated. I learned from them. I learned right from wrong. I learned how to read. I learned how to do proper math. Two plus two is four. And no matter the color of your skin, two plus two is always going to be four. It's not going to ever change. And so, you know, we're watching these things take place, y'all, in our society. And we're falling prey to them. And the church is complicit. And I hate that. I hate that the church, the power that the church is supposed to stand in, the power that we're supposed to stand in, we are not doing it. This article today, let me go ahead and move on. If you like what you hear, um, Pastor David G. Grogan, Sr., Senior Pastor at Soul Journal Life Ministries, ring the bell. When you get, um, when you subscribe, ring the bell and you'll be notified when my videos come out. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave comments and I'll get back with you. And y'all forgive me when I started kind of long on this right here, but you know, I'm just watching these things take place. I don't, if, if you are not paying attention to the news, then you need to pay attention to the news and what, and what's going on in our country when it involves the things that they're doing, the way they're trying to destroy the minds of our children. Virginia. VA, this is a Virginia school system, drops Dr. Seuss, claims books are fraught with racial undertones after a left-wing group promotes removal. See, left-wing, this liberal agenda. So now, uh, I guess Dr. Seuss books have become the new KKK manuals. Oh my goodness, Dr. Seuss, the new KKK manuals. Now it didn't say that in the it didn't, look, it didn't say that in the article. That's me, because when you listen to this foolishness, I mean, what, what more can you think? Dr. Seuss, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. You know, yeah, there's got to be some racial in that. I'm sure. Somebody, somebody, hey, look, watch out, watch out. There's something in that book about lynching in that Dr. Seuss book. You better be careful. You better be careful what you what you showing your kids. One fish, two fish. No, red fish, blue fish. What? What's what? Blue ain't no fish named blue. That's that's racist. Blue fish. There's no such thing as blue fish. That's racist. They're talking about somebody. Surely uh, there's some racial undertones in there somewhere. Doctor Seuss. Let's just read on. A prominent Virginia school system is dropping red. Read across America Day which celebrates the beloved children's author, Dr. Seuss, after a left-wing educator's group alleged that his books contain racial undertones. For more than two decades, Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss's March, uh, to, uh, March, March number two birthday has been celebrated in schools across the country as a way to emphasize the important role that reading and writing have in our lives. The special day is recognized on Dr. Seuss's birthday in view of the many books written by the, by the remarkable author that have helped children learn to read for years, many, many years. However, uh, Loudoun County Public Schools is saying that Dr. Seuss's books contain racial undertones that are, un, un, that are unsuitable for culturally responsive education. Uh, this is what the Daily Wire reports. Realizing that many schools contain that, that realizing that many schools continue to celebrate Read Across America Day in partial in partial recognition of Dr. Seuss's birthday, it is important for us to be cognizant of research that may challenge our practice in this regard, um, and and uh, and announce this regard. Unquote. An announcement reads: As we uh, become more culturally uh, responsive. And racially conscious, all building leaders should know that in recent years there has been research revealing racial undertones in the books written and the in the illustrations drawn by Dr. Seuss. Liberal Education Group Learning for Justice is reportedly uh, behind the crusade against Dr. Seuss. The organization says it seeks to uh, quote it seeks to uphold the mission unquote of the left wing southern poverty law center splc of their website says it goes on to say learning for learning for justice called attention to a um, to a magazine article titled it's time to talk about dr seuss unquote where a student from saint where a student from saint catherine university claims that dr seuss's books contain um orientalism anti-blackness and white supremacy you have got to be kidding me come on y'all this is ridiculous this is foolishness at a level and if you believe this 
If you believe these people and you take these books away from your children, you are just as reprobate as they are. These are reprobate people. These people are ungodly. Oh my goodness. These people are ungodly. If anybody's racist, they're racist. They want our children to stay stupid. They want your children not to learn how to read. They want your children to learn, not, not, to learn how not to enunciate words properly. They want your children to think that they're growing up in a society that hunched them so bad because of the color of their skin. You're a black person. There's Dr. Seuss's against you. You're Oriental. Dr. Seuss's against you. Listen to me. White supremacy so now Dr. Seuss is a white supremacist book, white supremacy book. Dr. Seuss, as I said at the beginning, is the new KKK manual. Oh my God. Oh my, I hate this, man. I hate this, Lord. Give us the ability, the church, to be able to do right. Church, you voted these people in. This left-wing agenda, when you voted for, uh, for Biden in because of this, when you voted him in because you hated Donald Trump, when you voted him in because you thought there was a better way and you, you did not care about abortion, you did not even care about your kids, church, when you voted him in, you ought to be ashamed of yourself because this left-wing agenda, this whole thing with white supremacy, Black Lives Matter surely has their hand in some of this foolishness. You have, we've got, you know, got people so afraid that now they're going to get rid of all of the vestiges, all the things that were good, the things, the very things that some of y'all grew up on, you're, you're turning away now, and you're going to disregard your kids because of this, these ignorant, low-down, good-for-nothing, pathetic reprobates, and that's exactly what they are, and if they die in their sin the way they are, with the hatred that they have in their heart, with the lying and the thieving and the perversion that they have in their mind and in their heart, they're going to go to hell, listen to me, for an eternity. And they're going to think about every time. They'll think about something as little as saying that Dr. Seuss book is bad for the kids. You'll think about stuff like that. They're going to think about stuff like that, y'all. Listen to me. Hell is a place of remembrance. You will remember every opportunity that you had to do right, and you didn't. After reviewing uh, 50 Dr. Seuss books, many of them written during the 1950s, the study indicated that there wasn't, there wasn't enough diversity included in the stories. Of the 2,240 uh, identified human char characters, there are 45 of color representing 2% per of the total number of human char uh, characters. The study reads, on the four, uh, of the 45 characters of color, 43 exhibited behaviors and appearances that align with harmful and stereotype, stereotypical Orientalism traits. Additionally, learning, uh, additionally, learning for justice uh, said many char uh, characters who were uh, not white in the books were subservient to white characters. It's also important to note that each of the non of the non-white characters is male, and that they are all uh, presented in subservient, ex uh, um, exa exotified, or dehumanized roles, especially in relation to white characters. The organization wrote, "Learning Learning for Justice" also claims that anyone who justifies Dr. Seuss's book is a racial apologist. Who is finally uh, ex who is finding excuses for why bigotry doesn't matter? And that's the end of the article. Thank God, these people are fools, y'all. Oh my goodness, this learning uh, for justice. These people are fools. A fool is somebody that, that 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 doesn't that knows to do right but does not. That's an idiot. They're idiots. These people are stupid. These people will have you to believe that the Dr. Seuss books that, that, we, that we were raised on, that we read, that these were, that, look, my granddaughter, this morning, when, before my wife left the, house, left the house to go to take care of our grandchildren, to help them go through school while their father's working online, she came back in and she wanted to get a Dr. Seuss book, uh, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, uh, and she got that. And I guess this... This book, you know, uh, uh, as far as these people are concerned, you know, I, I'm a racial apologist. No, I'm not an idiot. I'm not a fool. These people would have me to believe that this stuff is bad for my children, for my grandchildren, and we raised them on these things. These are these books have these books have, are are books that have come down through time. You know, uh, uh, um, it's, it's just it's just it just it just is incredibly 
incredibly ridiculous that anything like this, y'all, could have any ground. But you know what? Listen to me. The media is pushing this. The left, the left wing agenda is pushing this. Black Lives Matter is pushing this. When it comes down to Antifa, the only thing Antifa is about is just raising hell and causing destruction. That's all they're about. They they hate this nation. They know they just they're about you know tearing down the political processes and 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 you know and things like that. That's what Antifa is all about. But the Black Lives Matter. They're about changing the whole color of this nation. They're about changing the whole tone in this nation. So Black Lives Matter, who is in league with the 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 the, the, the left, the uh, uh, the um, um, democratic or liberal agenda. They're very quick to get involved in stuff like this. And listen to me, y'all. Don't listen, please. Whatever you do, don't listen to these people. If you are not saved, listen to me. That's why salvation through Christ Jesus is so important. Because when you are saved, the, when Jesus Christ walked amongst humanity, and, 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 and listen to me, liberals, are they don't believe in Jesus Christ. They might say that they're, they're spiritual people, but they don't believe in Jesus Christ and him crucified. They don't believe that what God says about treating people right and loving people. They don't believe that kind of stuff, y'all. And that's why they're they're free thinkers. They're they're heretics. They're apostates. They're unbelievers. They're you know they're 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 um, they're very uh, nasty in their ways because they don't believe in Jesus Christ. And they're still blind. When Jesus Christ walked amongst humanity, it, it, the word of God says he healed everybody that that came to him. Those that come to him that want to be healed, he healed them. So those that were blind, they received their sight. And it wasn't just their physical sight that they received, y'all. It was a spiritual sight that they received. They began to understand their minds and their hearts were illuminated by the by the by the by the uh, by the grace of God. So these people right here that that are believing that Dr. Seuss is a uh, uh, Dr. Seuss books now are racial have racial undertones, you know. And based on this article, these people they have not. Um, a thought process that has anything to do with righteousness and godliness. They are trying to take everything and they want to destroy the things that are good. That's what Satan does. He wants to destroy everything that's good and innocent. He wants to destroy the children in the womb, outside of the womb. He wants to destroy the things that teach them how to grow up to be solid citizens in the in, in our society, men and women, the two sexes in our society. They want they want you they want the they want the uh, uh our, our 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 black kids and the Hispanic kids and the Asian kids and, and the Western Indian kids. They want them to believe that they are so downtrodden by the white man. The white man hates you. The white man's trying to teach you this. The white man's trying to teach you that. Don't listen to the white man. And they're doing it so much that they have the white man afraid to do what's right. They won't even do what's right. So Satan knows what he's doing, y'all. Listen to me. I'm almost done. This article and these people that are dead set on getting rid of the Dr. Seuss books, you know what? I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I stand against you in Jesus' name. I defy your lies and your tricks and your tactics in Jesus' name. May the Lord God touch your heart and save you while you yet have a chance to do it. Because if you die in your unrepentant sin, you who would do this, who would lie to people and attack the poor babies, you're going to go to hell. You're going to go to hell. It's a real place. Listen to me. If you're not saved, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today. Because if you are not saved and you are falling prey to this, when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will be, your mind and you will be illuminated, your heart will be changed, you will see life like you never saw it before, you'll see it the way you were intended to see it, to have life and that more abundantly, confess your sins, ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins, admit that you're a sinner, Lord, say it, Lord God, I'm a sinner, ask that you forgive me of my sins and come into my life and be the Lord of my life, all the remaining days of my life. If you if you confess your sins, the word of God says that he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. You believe and make the profession with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and rose on the third day with all power. If you believe that in your heart and you're sincere, you can be saved. You shall be saved because whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. See 1 John the first chapter, verse 9, and then see Romans, the 10th chapter, verse 9 and 10, and verse number 13. You'll see it in the in the, in the, um, the um, subscription or the uh, thing for this uh, video. 
Um, you'll see it down there. I have it down there in the in the words. Uh, um, uh, but this is foolishness, y'all. This is foolishness. This really is. And I, I, I really feel bad for our kids. I feel bad for uh, uh, the parents that are raising children in this untoward generation. And that if you don't know any better, you'll fall prey to this stuff. And you'll take the things that are good for your kids and you'll get rid of them. Or you'll bring things into your house like the Mr. Potato Head thing in the last video that are not good for them. You, 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 you got you to gotta think. You got to use your head. You got to use your mind. Ask the Lord to show you the way. Listen to me. I love y'all very much. Y'all, you know, forgive me. Sometimes these things, are they can be so irritating, um, frustrating. But you know what? Uh, I'm saved. And I thank God for salvation through Christ Jesus. And now it's the responsibility of myself and others who understand the righteousness of God to do it and to do it without fear. We're not going to apologize for doing what's right by God. We're not going to shrink back from doing what's right by God. We're going to make sure that our children are raised to know God and his loving kindness and his tender mercies towards them. We're going to let them know how important they are in the gender that they are. We are not going to be moved by this foolishness at all. Racism, that 400 years ago, neon, the next stuff that Al Sharpton wants to talk about. He wants to keep you bound. He wants to keep you bound. He wants to keep you bound. And that's the same way the liberal agenda. They want to keep you bound. So everything that comes across the table is racist. Everything that comes across the table is white supremacy. Everything that comes across the table, our kids can't even enjoy life anymore because these adults that are fools, that are ignorant, unrepentant reprobates will have our children believe that their life is that the life that they're the place that they're growing up in is so bad and it's not the truth with that said i'm tennis god bless you i love y'all until we come back together again on the next video video y'all take care of yourself use your mind christ in your heart and farewell <laughs>